Hello there, this is Jake with Reverb. Today, I wanna to explore a couple options for some smaller, more affordable, and more portable bass heads. Growing up as a wee lad, learning the bass, pouring through some bass player magazines, I thought there was only one option when it came to bass amps. What all the greats were using, just massive four by 10 cabs with these SVT or GK or whatever, huge heads just pushing a bunch of sound. Well, it turns out there's another way. And it's smaller, it's lighter, and in a lot of cases, it's just as loud, if not louder sometimes. Let's look at some of those today. Just to quickly go through what we're gonna be playing through today, we've got a Music Man Stingray 5, we're gonna run each of these heads through an Ampeg PF-115. And for every single one of the heads, we're gonna also be using the DI capabilities. So you're gonna hear a little bit of the mic from the cab as well as the DI straight from the heads. First one we're gonna look at today is the TC Electronic BQ-250. Now a lot of people might be familiar with TC because of their incredible line of really affordable pedals. They make some really great bass heads too that are really, really, really affordable as well. We got 250 watts of power, a four band EQ section, and a thrust knob that controls a MOSFET preamp for that authentic feel and sound of a tube amplifier. We've got a headphone amplifier with some speaker emulation. And lastly, we've got a DI out with a pre and post EQ option. In addition to the 250 watt model, there's a 500 watt version of this amp. There's also a couple amplifiers that they make that come with the tone print technology, which some of you might be familiar with with the pedals, where you design your own sounds or use somebody else's sound. There's some amplifiers that they make where you can actually beam a, a pedal into the effects section and just have a, a pedal basically built into your amp. It's pretty cool. The next one we're gonna take a look at is the Aguilar Tone Hammer 350. You got 350 watts of power at four ohms and 175 at eight. So you wanna configure between one or the other. Features the Class D technology, so it's on the lighter side. It clocks in at about three pounds. We've got a four band EQ section, a 10 dB pad for passive versus active users, and a drive control that features everything from a little bit of a tube sound all the way over to like a, a distorted kind of buzzy sound. I really love the Aguilar's because you've got a lot of tone shaping options. And for those of you who double like myself on electric bass and upright bass, I've actually had a lot of really nice success running my upright through a tone hammer as well. Now just to hear what it's capable of, we're gonna crank the drive circuit in this. It's the Quilter Bass Block 800. Quilter Bass Block has two inputs, one for active and one for passive basses. It has impedance at four, eight, and 16 ohms with 800, 450, and 225 watts for each of those. You've got gain, depth, contour, and master, as well as a little mute button, and a headphone out. If you wanna practice along with some tracks, they've got a line in for your iPod. If you wanna just listen through stuff through the speaker, which is pretty cool. So as you can probably already tell, the Quilter is small, and the quilter is light. It weighs just a little over three and a half pounds. I've seen these things a lot in the wild 
on people's pedal boards. So they'll just carry on to cab, if that even. Some, some venues have cabs provided and you just got everything you need right from your board. It's that light that you can just carry it around. Now the EQ section on this is a little unconventional. We've got a depth and a contour knob, which basically just allows you to either dip or boost the bass frequency. You can level it out too if you like. And then you've got a mid scoop or a high cut. The way that they've designed the preamp in this is with, with them doing a lot of the thinking for you. So this actually reacts pretty dynamically to your bass playing. Let's take a look at the heaviest of the bunch today. We've got the Ampeg PF50T, which is a modern update on the classic Portaflex sound that we all know and love. We've got 50 watts of power, which as you know, if you've watched some of the other videos, is different for tube amps. We've got a three band EQ with ultra high and low boosts, as well as a mid selector frequency knob. We've got two DIs, one for balance transformer out and one for pre or post EQ out, depending on what you want to select and the amp weighs in at a little under 20 pounds. So of all the ones that we looked at today, this is definitely not the lightest or the smallest. But you have to consider what you're getting with this. This is an all tube amplifier weighing on under 20 pounds. Something of note too is that Ampeg does make smaller versions of this type of amp. It's not a tube amp, but the PF350 version of this I think is about under 300 bucks, weighs like eight pounds. It's class D like the rest of the ones we've looked at today. So there are some options from Ampeg that are smaller and lighter like the ones we looked at. This one just has tubes in it, so we had to do it. So I lied a little bit in the beginning. I said that we were just gonna be using that Ampeg cab, super nice. But then this orange terror bass head showed up and with it, this beautiful orange bass cab. But we figured it's orange, it's orange, we gotta do it. So here it is. So this orange terror bass has 500 watts of power at four ohms and 250 at eight ohms. It's got a three band EQ and class D power with a tube preamp. So it's light, but you still get some of that nice tube warmth. It's got a built-in DI, but it's just post volume and EQ. So there's no pre-options unlike some of the other ones we've looked at today. And unlike any of the others we've seen today, an effects loop for your pedals. And over here on the right next to this gain knob, we've got a clean circuit selector. So if you wanna push the preamp a little bit more, you got that option. This orange amp weighs in at about 10 pounds. It's like 800 bucks new, but don't let the price deter you. You get a lot of bang for your buck with this amp. The tube preamps really, really shine. You can get a lot of really, really cool, thumpy, gritty tones out of this thing. And it's it's just beautifully simple. It's, it's really easy to use. Now let's crank the drive a little bit on this to see what it's capable of. So 
was a quick overview of a couple of different portable bass heads. We didn't get to cover anything close to what is available out there. There's some great other companies to check out like GK or Dark Glass or Mark Bass, many more. You can find them all on Reverb. Go check it out. This is Jake. See you next time. Thank you, Detroit.